Hello. A couple of years ago, I created an app which came from the need to know what to cook with the ingredients that I had in my refrigerator. I used to cook pretty often until the pandemic came and well, now I don't cook that often. I order more. But the idea of that app um, came to me as a necessity and I deployed it online and found out like six months ago that it, it wasn't working anymore because the API that I was using is not supported or actually doesn't exist anymore. So I'm going to show you in this video a new API which I plan to use for my project. And this is the um, Spoonacular API. And I'm going to, I hope I can, but I'm, that's the plan. I'm going to redo exactly this use case. So this was a project which I wanted to do for students mostly. Um, I mean, you have a look in your refrigerator and you have like, it says here, you have cheese, salami, eggs, tomatoes. But yeah, um, there's no easy way, let's say, to, um, to find out what you can do um, with these ingredients. So I bro browsed here and there and found this API. And this is really nice. And I'm going to show you how you can use it. Well, for this API, you need an API key. So you will need to create um, an account. And you have 150 calls, let's say, a day, which is more than enough if you want to make a test application, or even if you want to um, to create a small a small project for you and your friends. And how does it work? Well, it has a humongous documentation. If we go to this full documentation, uh, you have all of the endpoints here on the left side. Um, I can scroll a little bit. Okay, that's about it. And it even has integration with Postman. So if you say run the examples in Postman, what it will do is, is basically we will import all of the endpoints that it has in Postman directly. And it has examples for all, all of them. So what you will need to do basically is just, um, well, if you have the endpoint that you want to call and with some small adjustments you can already play around with them. Um, what I mean by small um, adjustments, well you will need an API key. This is my API key at the moment. I can show it to you because I'm going to, uh, to change it. Once you <coughs> create a free account you get an API key. And let's just do um, one, one search here. So let's say get similar recipes. Um, yeah, why not? Let's take this one. So how do we do um, this call? So we copy this call here and <coughs> in Postman, um, just make a new call. And I need to add also the API in this format. So as a, as a parameter, so this is the API. And I need to say API key equals <coughs> the API key. And now I have all of the um, recipes which resemble, our, which are similar to this recipe ID right here. I mean, for us, it doesn't really say much. It's just an ID. But the, the point was so that you can see, um, let's just copy this and see how um, how it looks. Mm. Grilled style pork. That's not bad, right? <clears throat> and um, well, there you have it. This is, I mean, I'm not going to go through all of these endpoints clearly. The idea is uh, this API is free. It's really complex. It has a lot of information. I mean, you can even be uh, like a, a wine connoisseur um, based on uh, on this API. So you just need to to have a look, and um, let's yeah let's just do one, one example with the with the wine. I'm I'm, I'm curious. So let's say wine. Um, get wine description. <clears throat> 
so we say yeah Merlot let's see how good are we with uh, with Merlots um, just putting the endpoint right here and the API key and I'm not authorized ah, I'm not authorized because I did it wrongly so Mer I'm taking this away putting an at while Merlot and the question mark there and now should be authorized so a Merlot is a dry red wine which is smooth and medium but it have no idea what that means I'm not a wine drinker um, but there you have it so have a look at this API write in the comments what projects would you use it for um, in the PowerPoint which I showed you it's also that PowerPoint is also available on their site and they give you some examples of use cases and let's see who makes the project faster the one with the refrigerator me or you thank you for watching this video and as always I'll see you in the next one bye bye